Hey internet, it's Shelly, and today is day 59 of HRT. Um, this is about almost a month on the low dose estradiol and the spironolactone. We definitely can tell that the spironolactone is working because we are peeing a lot and last night we had cramps in our leg unbelievable cramps we did not sleep well at all um, and so that was hard we, would, we had to rub our leg a lot um, which hasn't been recently we haven't been having issues with but we were we ate a lot yesterday and we walked. We walked across campus um, from where we parked our car to where we were having our uh, women's gender and sexuality class. And uh, that was, we didn't realize it, that it was a lot of walking until we got uh, in bed and it just started cramping constantly. Um, but we did sleep and um, <laughs> it's um, we're, we're definitely feeling some uh, physical changes a little bit or our hair is not growing back as much as it did before and the hair on our legs is really really thin um, and these eyebrows you can probably see the eyebrows that was shaved off a couple of weeks ago maybe um, but anyway that was and this is something that our mom does we saw her doing that the other day and so we picked up that whole habit I'm not sure why but probably because of our male neck and um, that's one of the things that we've been struggling with um, really here <laughs> you're somewhere around in here um, we've been struggling with that um, a lot um, because we're um, late we're not really late. People say you're not late. Oh, it's perfect timing. You're coming out when you need to. But it's hard for us to not think about um, what could have been. And um, yeah, so we're just kind of sitting with that feeling. Um, and it's not to say that things haven't been okay. We we sold a painting the other day. Um, we got our driver's license with a new name on it. And everyone has been really encouraging. No one can really feel that that missing out feeling um, quite the same way as you do if you were going through this. Um, whatever your identity is, whether you're non-binary, transgender, gay, straight, whatever. Um, um, so yeah, we had a long time that we had a male gender mindset. And that was not good. Especially in our culture. It's a very toxic mindset <clears throat> and um, 
when you try to come out of that and you try to come into your identity, we, when we try to come out of our identity, into our identity, um, there was a lot of internal struggle. And some of it was because of misperceptions we had about feminism and misperceptions we had about transgender and non-binary and gender in general. And we've talked about that before. Um, so if you want to go back over the other vlogs in our journey, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> um, and we've been slowly fixing our house and trying to do things um, and to find out what fits us, where we feel comfortable. And not just comfortable, but where we feel like we, we wanted to be. And, of course, along with that, um, we don't know how to do much of anything. We did cook some rice yesterday, and we made some beans the other day, and so we're going to have some more of that for lunch. Because we're also trying to save money and live small, which is not something that we're... Uh, with a small footprint, if that makes sense. Which is not something that we're used to doing. We're, but at the same time, we are trying to try on new clothes and wear dresses and see what feels right to us, right? So like this shirt today, I can't you know if you can see this, so hopefully this isn't going to get us demonetized. We're not even monetized to begin with. <laughs> <clears throat> But, um, instinct, yeah, sit up straight. Uh, everyone told us to sit up straight. Um, so yeah, we're doing that and trying to decorate things here and there and draw and download all this, this information, if you want to call it that, this, these things that we're, we're looking at through new eyes, new eyes, new eyes, um, and there's so much, so much knowledge that we need to learn. For instance, um, growing up, we were a big fan of John Irving, the novelist. Um, he wrote a book called The World According to Garp. And in that book, there was a transgender person, Roberta Muldoon. And if you know the novel, you know the story. If you don't, spoiler alert, Roberta used to be a linebacker or no a wide receiver some for the Philadelphia Eagles and when Roberta um, underwent her transformation there was a huge uh, backlash and Roberta also helped um, Garp's mother by protecting her at um, speaking events because she was a rather prominent feminist at the time um, and that ended in a tragedy um, where she couldn't she didn't see the shooter in time um, and the shooter uh, killed Garp's mother and so we thought in our um, 
coming out struggles, call them struggles. Um, we felt like the only things that we could do was to, you know, protect people. We wanted to protect people. We don't the violence that goes on against trans people. Uh, it's just staggering. And we didn't feel like we could do that because of our leg and because we were hobbled. We didn't know if we were going to live. Um, so there was a lot of misinformation or misperceptions based upon knowledge that wasn't current. Um, but we had a lot of friends who were patient with us and who encouraged us to try on our identity while we waited to, for everything to settle down so that we could actually get started on the HRT, which is another thing that's sort of <sighs> that we, we wish well, wish in one hand, spit in the other, see which one fills up fastest, right? Um, but, uh, so we did, and we, we did social, we started socially transitioning and wearing, um, I'm gonna adjust here, wearing uh, different clothes and stuff like that. Um, But uh, the other day we were listening to someone who was talking about hormone therapy and, and said that it, um, it would take five years. It could take five years for all of the, the uh, estrogen to really take hold. And you know, doing the math, we didn't know if we had five years. And, uh, was, you know, who, who knows that they have five years, right? Um, but that was something that really um, still to this day is gonna, it's always gonna be with us. That's the other thing we're having to learn to let these feelings go through and just not focus, not, you know, let that, be all that we think about because that will really um, uh, that will really um, that will help us when looking forward not looking back which is a hard and our life has been so much about looking back and, and all the things that we have not been able to do um, for whatever reason Right, but <laughs> but anyway, um, so we did that. Um, we hung up a, a new thing on our door that looks just low rent, not low rent. I mean, just it's. <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll do a tour once we get things a little bit more fixed up. But um, we're just doing a little bit at a time, and um, unfortunately, the world doesn't move that slowly. Sometimes the the society, the culture, the systems that we operate within, we move within, are are fast paced, and. There's a, a push to always be, you know, at the front of things. And we don't know where, where we're supposed to be right now. And so that's hard. It's hard. And we, we know we're not the only person who's gone through that. And we wanted, oh, we also wanted to especially... Uh, give a big hug today to Ashley Adamson 
Ashley um, had a really rough day and she has a video about it if you want to check it out we're not going to cover her um, stuff but uh, she talked about negativity and about you know having things not go your way and, and so identify uh, with that and uh, and so yeah um, we don't know where all that's going right now um, we don't know where we're going but we do know that we're much happier uh, if that's the right word we feel more at peace with who we are and we feel excited about learning all this new stuff that we we're trying to absorb um, so anyway that's just some thoughts for today because we do we're trying to keep keep up um, and remember Reminder that this is all. This is uncensored. This is totally off the top of our head. There, oh, arm hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, totally off the top of our head there. Um, but we hope you're having a good day. Um, wherever you are, uh, we, we hope that you're taking care of yourself and you're safe and that your loved ones are safe and that you can tell them that you love them uh, and so that's it for today this is Giving Tuesday so this is our little gift to the world this little video um, stay well and we'll talk to you next time